The nominees for outstanding business reporting in a regularly scheduled newscast are Anderson Cooper 360, GM blamed for death, CNN, Nightline, Brian Ross investigates, Herbalife, the dream and the reality, ABC, Nightline, yoga guru under fire, ABC, PBS NewsHour, the minimum wage debate in Seattle, PBS, PBS NewsHour and the Center for Investigative Reporting, Who's behind the Chinese takeover of the world's biggest pork producer, PBS? Uh, there are two recipients of this award. Uh, first, an Emmy goes to Brian Ross Investigates, Herbalife, The Dream and the Reality, Nightline. Accepting the Emmy, Matthew Mosk, producer. Speaking before the federal investigations were made public, Wall strongly denied its distributors are misled about the prospects of getting rich, saying most of them only want the product for themselves or a little extra income. The reality is that most people know that this is a wonderful way in which to pay for a 50 or $60 startup fee to earn a few hundred extra supplemental dollars a month. That is what we are selling. Is that really what you're selling though, is a part-time supplemental income? It appears what you're selling is you can get rich through Herbalife. I just want to thank all my great colleagues at ABC News for uh, Really proud to be up here representing all of you tonight. Um, this story was uh, an exercise in unwinding, uh, in unwinding a, a great deal of spin, and we couldn't have done it without the support of James Goldston and uh, the team at Nightline. And uh, uh, I also want to recognize Reem Mamtaz and William Gallego, the field producers who went undercover <laughs> on behalf of all of us. And most of all, uh, Brian Ross, who uh, has done amazing journalism year after year. Thank you, Brian. And the second Emmy in the category goes to who's behind the Chinese takeover of the world's biggest pork producer, PBS NewsHour, and the Center for Investigative Reporting, PBS. Accepting the Emmy, Nathan Halverson, reporter, producer. Pigs line Main Street, and at the taste of Smithfield Cafe, bacon graces nearly every plate. The town's museum even features the world's oldest edible ham. A year ago, news broke that stunned the town. Chinese buyers had purchased Smithfield Foods. That was the issue when it was announced. So to find out more, we went to China, where a rapidly growing middle class is eating more meat every year. Uh, thank you. This, is, this was actually my first time working as a producer and a correspondent, so obviously there was a lot of very talented uh, people that were working behind me. Uh, the folks at PBS NewsHour, uh, Linda Winslow, Sarah Just, uh, Justin Kenny, um, uh, um, uh, also at the Center for Investigative Reporting, uh, where I work, uh, Sharon Tiller, uh, incredible vision and uh, unfaltering support for all of us, uh, Amanda Pike, Mia Zuckercandle, uh, editor David Richer, uh, and a whole crew of people that made this possible. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>